Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the YouTube users. My name is Maria Antonia Teixeira Jose, but on YouTube, I am known as Mia A. Rose. I am a YouTube user because it's fun and because I can talk to millions of people around the world at the same time. I live in Portugal, which is next to Spain, which is in Europe, and um... <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, uh, Peter Oakley, uh, you are uh, a very distinguished member of the YouTube community and a very popular one too. And um, by my calculation, I hope you'll forgive me uh, if I point out that you were 50 when Chad was born. So, you <laughs> so you've got a few years on him. Uh, I know you, you wanted to ask him a question about uh, uh, intergenerational relations. Well, yes. Um when I made that fatal mistake a couple of years ago of, uh, of uploading a video to YouTube, not knowing what the hell I was doing, I never knew what a furor it would cause. And uh, it must have been a very slow news day because the media picked up on it. And uh, I was bombarded with all sorts of things, which really at that time I, I, I couldn't handle. Uh, but one newspaper, I think it plonked my picture on the front and it had a headline that says the internet granddad um, <laughs> and so that's what I am and really that's what I enjoy being because I think we've got a wonderful platform here whereby more older people either through my example or whatever have now had the courage to come onto the YouTube site and so we've now got this wider generation of people and I think it's wonderful because there can now be this intergenerational communication which I think in real life is not really so common and um, if people in the younger age group uh, can present themselves in a good way and, and hopefully myself then I think by seeing each other we may be able to break down some of the stereotypical uh, opinions that people have of the old and people have of the young. Chad, what you... There you go. <laughs> Chad, what, I mean, you, you know, what do you make of that um, aspect of YouTube was it cannot have been something that you were remotely expecting when you set it up. No, not at, not at all, but it, it's, it's great to hear Peter's story and to uh, really show another side of YouTube. I, I think so much people like to generalize what YouTube's about, mm. that YouTube's about cat videos and kind of these, these, these really just kind of, you know, funny, funnier kind of entertaining videos that are, are just not very serious or not trying to communicate someone's thoughts or ideas, but uh, really, there's so many things happening on our site, and like Peter mentioned, just you know, hopefully breaking down some of those boundaries. I always talk about cultural boundaries because we have this global audience. People have a chance to experience other cultures and uh, other people and their experiences from where they're coming from, and and I think he's, he's participating not only in that way but also in terms of uh, you know different generations, hoping breaking down breaking down gener uh, the, the divisions or uh, you know some of the stereotypes between different generations. Because one of, one of the things that was said about the the web early on was that it would it would drive people into their bedrooms and they'd never talk to anyone and it would be fantastically antisocial. And yet, in fact, the opposite. I mean, if we look at Mir's story, you know, you've, you you your talent has become available to hundreds of thousands. Of, I mean, tell us a little bit about your story. Okay. Well, um, I came home from holidays because I was in university in Buckingham here in England. And um, I came home and I decided to put some videos on YouTube just to, just as a joke, you know, to see if people like thought I sang well, didn't think I sang well, some constructive criticism, something. But um, what actually happened was people started liking the, the, the videos because I sang, I did little amateur videos of, of cover songs, people, of, of artists. And people started liking them because I did, I did them frequently. Every single day I would put a new video. People send requests for different songs. Um, <laughs> different songs. Uh, I'd sing them, so people. I started growing up, grow, building an audience, and through that, in in less than a month, I had been flown to to America, signed a contract, a record deal, and and I'm I'm right now working on my debut debut album. 
and, and so. <laughs> Sarah, apart from thanks, is there anything you'd like to say to Chad? <laughs> thank you, Chad. <laughs> I like to say <laughs> Did you have a question for Chad? I do. It, it's a joint question. It's more like, who's your favorite YouTube user and who have you been following since the beginning? Yeah, no, YouTube. No, no, no. no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do usually get this, this, asked this question very many times, and, and also about, like, what's your favorite video? What do you like to watch? Uh, and it's really, it's so hard to keep up because we're, we're receiving so many videos on a daily basis uh, that, and, and you know, I'm busy too, I'm trying to run the company. Uh, I, I try not to watch them. Uh, but it, yeah, it's, it, it's, really, it's really that spectrum that I enjoy. It's not one particular genre or one particular user. It's really seeing everyone having a chance to participate in what they're all doing and just, you know, reading the headlines that, you know, she, she signed a record deal. Or that, you know, reading about Peter and him talking to about his experiences being in the war and just sharing that with, with everyone on the line. I mean, it's just, it's just really neat for me to, to, to hear that and read about that. And Charlie, you've, um, you've used your site to hook up with four other guys in a, in a classic example of micro social networking, haven't you? Yeah. Um, Tell us about it's that. It's a channel called Five Awesome Guys, and basically we were all. Um, <laughs> We, we just made the channel because um, we wanted to become better friends. Well, at, at, well, we made the channel because there was a channel called Five Awesome Girls, and we wanted to copy them because we thought it was a really good idea. Um, so we, we made the channel just to talk to each other. I make a video um, every Tuesday, and um, my friends make a videos every weekdays, and we just have online conversations. So it's actually Tuesday today, and I haven't made my video yet. <laughs> and how much, how much of your time, I mean, I think you're 17, is that right? Yeah. How much of your time does, does this take up? Um, a lot of it. I mean, I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't usually turn my laptop off, actually. Right. I'm, I'm always checking videos, and I've got tons of subscriptions that I keep up with. Right. And obviously, when I'm making the video, that takes a lot of time. I mean, uh, it takes a couple of hours to edit it and upload it. And, um, yeah. It's busy. Yeah. It's hard out yeah. there. Is there anything you'd like to ask Chad about your, uh, what you do? Um, I, I haven't really got a question prepared. Actually, uh, but no, no, that's not specific. You did mention one. a glitch in the software earlier. Yeah. Really. Oh yeah, well, when we were backstage, I just wanted to tell them that there's actually a glitch on YouTube yeah. at the moment. I appreciate that. <laughs> it was a, it was, it was, it was, a spe it was a special moment. Yeah. yeah. This is this is why we love the community. Not only do they participate, <laughs> upload videos, they they help us test the site. <laughs> I love that. Uh, but but do you, sorry, Charlie, do you have? A, I mean, to take Peter's point, have you found that you've been in, in contact with, with people you wouldn't have expected. I mean, obviously, the, the, the core demographic of your site must be other teenagers, I imagine, young people. But there, have people sort of got in contact and, and, and surprised you in that respect? Um, well, yeah, like you said, the, the majority of people who use YouTube and the majority of people I've met have been teenagers and young people. Um, I mean, I've been to a couple of YouTube gatherings and in the UK, definitely, it's usually populated by teenagers and young people. Yeah. Um, I think one of the main stereotypes of the internet, though, is that meeting people online is dangerous, which it can be. Um, but I, I, I've got something I want to say, actually. Um, uh, an, ana an analogy of the one my friends came up with is a YouTuber. Um, compared pe meeting people on YouTube to meeting people in a nightclub. Um, when you meet someone in a nightclub, you don't know anything about them. Yeah. And you have to start talking to them, introduce yourself, and find out about their hobbies and what they like. And when you're talking to them, that's when you have to find out if you'd be compatible as friends or, or whatever. But on YouTube, you watch these people and they're expressing themselves and saying what they like. And it's kind of the other way around because you get to know them before you actually meet them, which I think is really interesting. And you can be sure that you'd be friends with them before you even introduce them, introduce yourself to them. And have you been?